Alright, you've all seen them on TV. These are, you know, the as seen on TV devices. Uh, the latest one that's been going around right now is the Atomic Beam. Uh, they're advertising them on TV, you know, for $19.95. And right now you can get free shipping and handling on TV. Or you can just go down to your local Walmart and pick up the actual unit themselves. Um, I'm actually pretty surprised by the actual packaging on it. It's actually packaged pretty well. Um, you did, I did notice that up here in the corner, it uh, does say that it's powered by Creed. Uh, LEDs, which is a uh, one of the leaders out there for LED uh, manufacturing. Uh, they do have uh, Creed themselves. They do have, you know, some intelligent light bulbs and everything else that uh, work very, very well. Uh, they say it, uh, that this is actually 40 times brighter than the ordinary flashlight. Well, when they say that, they're they're actually not talking about incandescent. They're actually talking about other LED manufacturers. Um, there's a little disclaimer on the very bottom of the box that actually describes all that problem. Um, they said that you can have up, up to 5,000 lux with, uh, with this uh, flashlight. Uh, they say it can sur survive, you know, being deep fried, you know, in a water puddle for extended amounts of time. Uh, being run over even by a truck. Well. I'm not going to go into all those details with this uh, flashlight. Uh, there's already numerous people out there who have tried to destroy these flashlights. This is just, you know, a good way to kind of just show you how the box when you get it and everything else because nobody's really done a true unboxing of the device. Well, the reason why is because it's very simple. The flashlight's already actually within here. On the back, it's pretty, pretty simple. Pull it right on off. And you just pull the flashlight right straight out. And there's the instruction manual. That's probably within the actual device itself. Oh, there it is. You can actually buy the rechargeable lithium battery and charger for just $12.99 plus shipping and handling, which according to their website is an additional $9.99. Uh, so if, if you feel that you don't want to keep putting three AA batter or triple A batteries in the flashlight, that would be an option. And this is just extra promotional stuff from tele, Telebrands. And then their instruction manual. Instructions basically tell you basically where the, where the batteries go in the bottom. You got your battery cartridge that holds your three batteries, and then your end cap. And it tells you that that you know two batteries will go up, one battery will go down. There should be markings within the actual item and tells you basically the different lighting modes. You have high, medium, low, strobe, and SOS. We will show these off um, also with this video and then also the lithium battery. So you just unscrew the, the base cap. It's got, got a nice metal on a spring to, to make sure that there's good uh, kind of on the battery and it's got a nice uh, button on it. Go ahead and pull out the cartridge. And it's actually got a very nice cartridge that actually came with it also. It's got uh, a good metal tip. Uh, a lot of the flashlights I have seen uh, that are coming out this way with the um, tips and everything it's all just kind of round and after time the springs on the inside which I don't know if you can really see it too well or not in there there's 
there is one spring, but it's a very long spring that this actually touches into. Um, I I think with the the way that spring is in there, that that would actually last for a while, because I've had a lot of these flashlights in order to keep them bright. I'd have to sit there and kind of tap them every once in a while to get the get it to where it's actually making a good connection in order to get the, the battery required. And then it's just got the standard uh, round port where this would actually touch right into it to make and I mean there's there's good tension on there so it looks like it's going to actually make very very good uh, connectivity to make sure that you always get the power that you need to actually use it. And to focus the, the beam you got in and out, so you got your 1x, 250, 500, 1000, and 2000, and this is at 5 meters. So, 5 meters, you're about 15 foot. So, and you just slide this out, and it's got nice little gauge rings along the way. So you can actually kind of see it's not marked, but it's, but it's, it's got a good feel to it also, even though it extended. So uh, I will be back in uh, one moment. I'll go put some batteries in it, and then uh, we will actually take it outside and see how well it performs. Okay, we are back. Uh, I am. Got the camera set up about 16 feet away from our fence. I've got two flashlights with me. The first flashlight I have in my hand right now is a 250 Duracell. Uh, the Duracell um, has a high beam, a low beam, and a strobe. So this is the Duracell. This is the low beam with the Duracell. Here's the high beam with the Duracell and the strobe with the Duracell. Pretty good, um, pretty good response. Um, now I've actually got the um, the atomic flashlight now in my hand. And this is the high. Here's the medium. And here's the low. Here's the strobe, which is actually actually just going between all three phrases, it looks like. And the SOS pattern. Go back over to the high. I'm going to turn the unit off. <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and turn back on. You can tell this is squared, so this is going to be the atomic on high. This is high for the Duracell. Very comparable. I'm going to go to medium. Here is the low with the Duracell. Uh, the uh, the atomic is still a little brighter on the low, and it's more focused lighting. Also, uh, you'll notice that it is actually squared because the actual diode itself is squared. Uh, there is no uh, flooding capabilities with the actual door cell. It is just a single uh, throw light there is a little bit of shadow as, as you can probably probably see with um, the uh, the Duracell but not much and but with um, with the flooding capabilities with this one as I start moving it out it's quite a bit of light I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can kind of see a little better. There's quite a bit of light that it actually produces with the actual uh, atomic. 
uh, this would be a, a good light to actually light up. You know, if you need to light up something, uh, it's all the way out there. Like, um, but um, it does do a very good job. And I can actually zoom the camera in to, to show you. I mean, it's actually good enough to pick up, you know, even at night, blades of grass. So this is the atomic flashlight that you see on TV for $19.99. Very, very good flashlight. Like I said, we're not going to put it to the drop test. We're not going to deep fry it. We're not going to throw it in, you know, puddle of water or anything like that. There's numerous other videos out there that do that. We're just showing you the actual luminous value of the actual flashlight. Thanks for watching.